Sand Pit. Item number, SCP-4392. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. All personnel stationed at Site-26 are to be aware of the location and properties of SCP-4392. Signs reminding staff of SCP-4392 and its properties should be positioned in any hallway featuring an entrance into SCP-4392, with particular emphasis near said entrances. Staff should be courteous towards other staff who will access SCP-4392, taking its anomalous properties into consideration. Cleaning and repair staff may disregard SCP-4392 at their own discretion. Description SCP-4392 is a region encompassing the staff break room, located on Floor 3 of Site-26. Hume readings within the boundaries of SCP-4392 are universally above 1500 humes, varying by up to 30 humes per second. To date, no compliant reality bender has been capable of altering or stabilizing these levels, nor has any quantity of Scranton reality anchors. Of particular note is that SCP-4392 will undo any changes to its interior that deviate from its perceived norm, including the damage, repair, addition, and slash or removal of furniture. This includes consuming food from the fridge, which will replenish after an indeterminate period, dirty dishes and cutlery used by staff reappearing clean in appropriate areas, with the exception of the plate located in the northern sink, which will instead remanifest there, dirtied if cleaned. Cleaning the curried egg present on the auburn recliner, which will reappear when an individual sits on the chair. Faucets and machines, dispensing appropriate liquids, even if disconnected from infrastructure, and slash or not restocked. The addition or removal of rubbish from the bin. Newly introduced waste will disappear. However, pre-extant waste will remanifest when removed. Repairing or removing the destroyed coffee table, which will reappear in a state of disrepair while unobserved. Attempts to remove the odor of Arabian mocha coffee. SCP-4392 will infrequently accept new alterations, permanently incorporating them into its environment. Footnote. The aforementioned coffee table is an example of this. It is currently unclear what prompts this. If SCP-4392 is unused for several minutes, duplicates of on-site personnel will manifest within SCP-4392. These personnel, designated SCP-4392-1, are unable to leave the boundaries of SCP-4392, demanifesting if they attempt to do so. They are otherwise mundane, exhibiting no abnormal properties or awareness, and behaving in a manner expectable from the duplicated personnel under similar circumstances. SCP-4392-1 instances are typically oblivious of their status as an SCP-4392-1 instance until notified of it, and will engage in mundane actions throughout SCP-4392 if unobstructed. These actions will inevitably conclude with an attempt to leave SCP-4392.